Hi, today I would like to present the Loss Analysis Waterfall widget, which is available for both the wind and solar parts of Greenbite. We believe this will be of particular interest to our asset manager customers in allowing them to take a quick look at their portfolio as a whole, but also useful for other customers as well. This widget allows you to see energy theoretical, the energy the turbine or inverter could have produced if it were running optimally in perfect conditions, and compares it to the energy actual, the energy that was recorded as actually produced in a given time period, as well as comparing these two energy values. The widget also visualizes the energy losses and gains from energy theoretical in a waterfall down to energy actual. Here you can see the losses due to performance, curtailment, and downtime. Residual is anything which is uncategorized. As you can see, the scale on the graph is exaggerated so the losses can be visualized more clearly. And the scale of the x-axis doesn't start from zero. You can either have losses in red or gains in green. More information on why you might have an energy gain can be found in the documentation. Just search for the loss analysis waterfall. On the right hand side, we have an area we call the top offenders. This shows which sites or devices are losing most energy in a given time period. As you can see here, the site Norbury is currently losing most energy, followed by Enerwald. If I want to find out more about which devices within Norbury are losing most energy, I can click on Norbury. And now in the waterfall chart, I can see the exact energy breakdown for this site. As you can see here, we now have a gain for this site. If I want to find out which devices are losing most energy, I can look in the top offenders. Here it shows that Norbury 12 is losing most energy. And if I want to find out about the individual losses for that device, I can click on it. And here I can see exactly which losses are recorded for this device. I can navigate up to portfolio level here to do more investigation. It's also possible to drill down into the individual loss categories. So I can click on losses due to performance and I get a pop-up showing which sites are losing most energy due to performance losses. Interestingly here, you can see that as well as high performance losses at Enneberg, I also have some energy gains at some sites. And as an asset manager, I may wish to dig into this. Again, please check out the documentation for more information. Finally, this widget can be managed in the same way as other widgets. It can be added to a dashboard in the normal way, although we recommend you integrate it into a one column dashboard where it will work most well. The date range can be managed in the usual manner. And it's also possible to select which sites and devices you are interested in here. Although we recommend you keep it at the portfolio level since this is an overview widget with drill down functionality. And that's it. This is a different widget to most green bite widgets and we hope that its interactivity will be useful. Happy waterfalling.